don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Hi everyone! If you're planning to get a Venus flytrap, then here are the tips for you. So I got mine for $5 and it's 2 inches tall. This plant is native to North and South Carolina. For its light, make sure to place it in a bright indirect sunlight. If you're going to water it, use a distilled water, reverse osmosis, or rain. Venus flytraps require very pure water. Tap water is likely to be too high in the soft solids, minerals, and salts that may kill the Venus flytrap possibly in weeks. Most flytraps will only need to be watered every 10 to 14 days. Or just always keep it moist but never soggy. For their soil, you have to use sphagnum peat moss mixed with perlite or long fiber sphagnum. Flytraps are carnivorous. Their foods like ants, spiders, and flies serves as its fertilizers. You don't really need to feed them. They catch their own food once you put them outdoors. When you're growing them indoors, you have to feed them from time to time. They can go long periods for a month or two without eating insects. The inner walls of the leaves are covered in nectar which attracts insects to land there. Venus flytrap leaves open wide and on them are three little trigger hair and those hairs are very sensitive. Anything touches these hairs enough to bend them, the two lobes of the leaves snap shut, trapping whatever is inside. The trap will shut in less than a second. The prey must be alive when caught. Dead insects won't work in Venus flytrap. The insect must move around inside the trap or the trap cannot consume and digest it. Each individual trap can be fed, but the plant should not be fed more than once a week. One bug for the whole plant, not each trap, because they take a lot of energy every time they digest. It takes them about a week to digest it. Once the digestion process is completed, the trap opens and the exoskeleton is left behind. Each trap can only open and close several times before it dies and falls off, whether it catches something or not. Don't be scared when you see them turning black. For as long as you see that there is a new growth replacing the dying traps, then your plant is doing fine. Remove old leaves as they turn black. and leave them on the pot so they can be the fertilizer for the new growing plants. During winter, it will be on its dormant stage. This is when they appear to be dead, but they are merely resting. You do not have to feed your plant at all, but still water it. And that's it! Don't forget to hit like and subscribe! Thank you for watching!